It was a bold, unprecedented move putting mental health counselors in patrol cars, riding along with deputies all day, every day. The Orange County Sheriff's Office made the move at the beginning of the year to peacefully de-escalate those in mental crisis, since upwards of 20% of those calls involve mental health. But is it getting results together? News 6's Eric Von Anken looks at the results and the numbers. How are you? This is the type of situation that is immediately alarming to law enforcement. A woman in the lobby of the Sheriff's Office headquarters making threats to do harm. Lots of anxiety, lots of paranoia, the thoughts of... Um of self-harm. Delaney Kerwin, a mental health counselor and her law enforcement partner, Deputy Kimberly Burke, were quickly called in. In fact, this is Deputy Burke's body camera video. Are you feeling okay right now? They talked to the woman and discovered that's really all she needed to talk. She agreed to counseling and left the sheriff's office peacefully. This is my friend Delaney. This person living at a group home was also threatening harm. Responding deputies made sure she was not armed and then called Kerwin and Burke. They learned that basketball calmed the special needs woman. Oh. So that's exactly what they did. I'll come back and teach me some tricks, okay? <laughs> the deputy clinician team have been a pair since January when the Orange County Sheriff's Office first partnered with Devereaux Advanced Behavioral Health. Putting counselors in cars, responding to scenes where someone is in mental health crisis. Hi, how are you? Thank you. You look great today. Yeah. Thank you. Since then, the two teams have been called out to unfolding scenes 390 times. They've made contact with 864 people across Orange County, and many of those people are follow-up checks, like in this video. I want to help you make an appointment. Keeping someone on track with medication and counseling, something deputies alone could never do. What would you do before? Well, it would take a lot of time. I mean, sometimes there's not that time. We have the availability to, to stay there for two or three hours if we need to on any kind of call to two make sure that we... Hours. Yeah, whatever it takes to, to get to that de-escalation point. And the behaviorist unit dresses differently, you can see. Kerwin is casual and Burke has khakis and a polo instead of a police uniform. So that we don't have negative uh, incidents. We don't have to fight people. We don't have to uh, secure them forcefully or anything like that. And it's important to note that this deputy clinician team, they're not first responders, they're second responders. Typically, a patrol deputy will have gotten to the scene first to make sure it's safe for that clinician and also often pave the way for the clinician. A third of the 1,600 deputies here at the Orange County Sheriff's Office have also gone through 40 hours of crisis intervention training at the Sheriff's Office in Orange County. Eric Bonnack and getting results together. Do six.